Okay folks, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to build a spaceship using a, a program called Maya. It's made by Autodesk. Uh, so uh, it's going to use one principle that uh, we'll use it over and over and over and uh, it'll help you in a lot of your uh, modeling uh, stuff um, whether you're using Maya or uh, 3D Studio Max or uh, uh, Cinema 4D, um, it'll help you. Uh, this principle will help you. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up Maya. Okay, I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Um, let's go to Polygons. Uh, cube and we'll make a cube about like this and we'll bring it up about like that now let's go ahead and select this so that we can uh, see our, our object as a solid I'm gonna bring it to the middle just for me to help me out um, let's change from uh, object mode to face mode we'll select this face right here and we are going to go to extrude now let's uh, bring this out and we'll do the same thing on the other side this is going to be a fairly hit G um, to extrude that again this is going to be a fairly uh, crude example but you'll get the point uh, you'll get the point across anyway um, so uh, now I'm going to bring this in um, and bring this side in and let's now let's uh, extrude again so all you gotta do is hit G because it's the last action we did um, and we'll we will bring it in Hit G again, pull this side out, look at it from this top view, get a better view of it. Now I go to my move tool and pull the whole thing back just like that. Looks pretty good. Go to the other side here. Right, let me go in a little bit further so we can see what we're doing. And uh, we'll hit G again and all that does is extrudes again go in we'll hit G again and we'll pull this side out I don't think we're exact but we're close enough I'll bring that side back let me look at it from the top to see if we're close uh, needs to go back a little bit more but that's not horribly bad now we'll go to the front select this face hit G again and we're gonna make the whole oh, going to go here make the actually I don't like that I'm going to do that a little bit differently instead of doing it like that I'm going to uh, uh, hit extrude, hit G I'm going to bring this straight out and now I'm going to make this smaller just like that and bring it down now it's starting to look like a pod fighter, huh? It's coming together. Um, let's work on a little bit of de detail before we move on. Otherwise, we'll have too much detail and it'll be annoying. So uh, let's uh, hit G again on this face here. And we'll just uh, go to uh, our uh, scale tool and bring it in. Now hit G again and we'll bring it back 
just like that. Let's go to the other side. We'll hit G, which just goes straight back to extrude. Um, very, very powerful. Probably the most powerful and useful tool in my, aside from shading and all that crazy stuff that I probably won't get into with this tutorial, uh, just because, uh, uh, for one, I just don't have time, and for two, well, I'll think of number two here soon. Um, oh, messed up. So we'll hit G again. That's what I messed up on. I didn't hit G. I didn't extrude. And we'll pop it right back, just like the other side. We'll bring it back a little bit more. Let's go to the back side of the ship. Hit G. We'll bring this down. Hit G again. And we shall bring her in. Let's go to the other side, hit G, scale it in, hit G again, move it in, perfect, well not perfect, but hey, hit G on this face here, scale it down, and we'll bring it about right there. Hit G again and move it in. I'm gonna move that one way in. There's our thrusters. You can put a particle emitter in there and uh, animate it if you want to, and uh, that'll look pretty good um, if you want to do that sort of thing. I can tell my uh, my wing is a little bit off on one side, but. Uh, that's okay, because this is just a uh, example. If I was doing this for Pixar, I would probably try to do a little bit better job, uh, just because, uh, well, I believe John Lester may uh, be a bit annoyed with one wing being slightly longer than the other, but you get the idea, and uh, that's the important part. So let's put another wing on the top. We'll hit G. We'll scale this in. And hit G again. Move it up. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll select that face and bring that right back. Just like that. How cool is that? That's too cool. I wish I could uh, uh, do stuff like this. Um, oh, hold on. We'll hit G again on this top face. Bring it up just a hair. And we'll bring it back just like that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, it's like a good uh, spaceship we got here, but we want to do one more thing. Unless you live in the world of Tron or uh, super old video games uh, uh, like Star Fox, you don't want this uh, spaceship being so polygonal. Um, so what we'll do to fix that is we'll go to object mode. We'll select the whole object. I'm gonna hit down, hold down the space bar. I'm going to go to uh, mesh smooth and I'm going to bring my have my division levels at 3 and apply now that looks like a pretty cool spaceship I smoothed it out made it look nice Let's see what it looks like rendered. Let's go to rendering and looks pretty good. Let me go in a little bit closer than render again. Um, just like this. 
looks pretty good so with this uh, you can start uh, you know painting with uh, you, you know painting on a mesh with uh, Photoshop to make it look better or just um, apply a uh, uh, you know a material to it and uh, it'll look pretty good but this is good good this is like the concept uh, uh, space fighter uh, so I uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, making a few more um, and uh, see you can't even tell that one wings longer than the other in this uh, so uh, I guess I'll be talking to y'all later bye